Hey guys, what's going on? So welcome back to my EDC drop series part two from Urban EDC Supply where I'm going to discuss the final piece of my new pickups. So this is called the MechForce EDC Gyroscope Generation 2. And this is basically, I'm sure most of you are familiar with fidget spinners. Well, this is a fidget spinner on steroids. So what it's supposed to do on the box here, it says, it gives you true three axes handhold gyroscope. Experience true 3D gyroscopic physics. Assist in understanding the gimbal lock, angular momentum, and inertia. It's miniature in size, great for everyday carry, office, and educational environment. Designed and hand assembled in the USA. It also comes with a, uh, an Allen wrench to adjust it if you need to. And then there's another tool that they sell on the MechForce website. This, it's like $15, but it's specifically tailored to be able to adjust this thing. Now this thing is so cool. Now I'll preface this with sometimes everyday carry stuff is not necessary stuff. Sometimes it's just cool. <laughs> so like, for example, I have a brass top that I like to spin sometimes. And there's, you know, obviously there's no point in having it aside from the fact that it's cool. So again, not all this stuff is like absolutely necessary to have. Sometimes you just want something because you like to fiddle around with it, and this is what that does. So this, this again, this is called a gyroscope, Generation 2. It's really cool. So it's, it's got what's called gimbals, and these gimbals are, are things that rotate. They're, they're not fixed in place. And they're basically these little three primary gimbals. And so the first one in the center here, it can spin this way. You can spin it. And then the second one also spins. Yeah, let me spin that. And then this third one is the one that you hold. But there's a few different ways to play with this. I like to do is I like to take the center one and spin that. And as you do that, so that center wheel is so well calibrated that it'll continue going. And I actually timed this. It'll it can continue to go for up to seven minutes. Now see, I'm rotating it, and as I rotate it, see that center gimbal is the one spinning. And as a result, as I rotate it, you can see how this middle ring, the second ring on the inside, is spinning in tandem with my rotating. Now, once again, that center gimbal is spinning at full speed. And so it's allowing both the center gimbal and the middle gimbal to rotate along a plane. It's really cool. Can hear the cool whirring that it has the whirring sound i'll stop it here there's there's other ways that you can actually fidget with this you can take the the middle ring and spin that now that doesn't last as long it does show how well calibrated it is and then another way that i like to do it is i like to hold the middle gimbal and spin the outer one so i go like that and i kind of rotate it and it kind of does that it's real neat. As long as you don't hit it up against your finger, then it won't stop. Now that I'm hitting it up against my finger, it's going to stop. But yeah, real neat little widget to play around with. If you turn it real slow, you can get it. You can get it to rotate upright from horizontal to upright. So, anyways, yeah, I just I just thought it was really cool. And then another thing that I do is I'll take the middle gimbal. It's got like this cool Tony Stark Iron Man type surface here and it's on both sides so it's on this side it's also on this side and so what I'll do is I'll set, I can set it down on that and then, yeah you can spin that inner one and just kind of set it there and watch it watch it spin that's kind of fun too hell yeah and then one of the other ways that I found that I could mess around with it you could pick it up from there and do that maneuver again where that middle gimbal is going to continue to spin and you can move it and rotate it around and it just does really neat maneuvers. And then uh, the final way that I found that I could mess with it is I could set it down flat. And spin the outer one. And so the outer and the middle gimbal spin, whereas the center one remains stationary. And this, this is what I was able to get it to last seven minutes. This will keep spinning for a really long time. 
So anyways, on the, on the Urban EDC website, it says, if you are a fan of the original MechForce EDC gyroscope, the new and improved gyroscope Generation 2 is going to blow your socks off. This time around, MechForce is turning up the heat with their latest and most innovative offering. It's time to defy gravity on your own terms with the MechForce EDC gyroscope Generation 2. A unique and elevated take on traditional fidget toys, the Gyroscope Generation 2 lets you experience true 3D gyroscope physics. Compact enough to take anywhere, this work of functional art lets you better understand and experience the gimbal lock, angular momentum and inertia, while simultaneously helping to relieve stress and improve focus as you go about your day. Among the improvements made to the original All Axis Now are fully adjustable on the MechForce EDC Generation 2 gyroscope. Building on the customer's feedback, there's an added knurling texture on the side of the center cap, which improves spinning strength. In addition, the outer rings are CNC machined by Axis machine centers, and four more micro bearings are added to improve stability and performance. If you're looking for a unique and elevated marvel of engineering that you can hold in the palm of your hand, there's simply nothing else that approaches the ingenuity of MechForce EDC Gyroscope Generation 2. It allows you to experience the wonders of a gyroscope, compact, highly pocketable, machine from solid stainless steel, silky smooth spinning, yes, R188 hybrid ceramic ball bearing for smoothness, micro bearings installed in the intermediate ring, length 2 inches, width 2 inches, thickness 0 0.68 inches, weight 5.4 ounces, designed and assembled in the USA. Now, I know what you're thinking, like, what is a gimbal gimbal lock? I've never heard of that. Well, I never heard of that. And it's it's actually less complicated than it sounds. So I'll, I'll, read, I'll read about what the gimbal lock is. So gimbal is the loss of one degree of freedom in the three-dimensional three-gimbal mechanism that occurs when axes of the parallel or the 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 axes of the dimensions and three dimensions and so forth so pretty simple stuff um <laughs> so all jokes aside a gimbal essentially is a platform that can pivot what does that mean well it means that instead of being fixed to an unmoving base an object on a gimbal can rotate along at least one axis in the world of aeronautics this is known as roll pitch and yaw it's easiest to understand roll pitch and yaw by visualizing an object like an airplane Think of an imaginary line that runs through the front of the plane and out the back. The rotation along this line would present in a roll. The plane would start doing barrel rolls. Okay, so yeah, so that's a gimbal. I don't need to get all into the science and all into the theoretical physics and experimental physics and whatever kind of physics is involved with gimbals, but what I do know is this thing is damn fun to play with. You know, being into EDC myself, like I said, I'm all about boots and I'm all about belts, and all, I'm all about carrying cool stuff around, and this is just one example of that. I've been carrying this around with me the past two or three days, and yeah, I just can't put it down, to be honest. It's a lot of fun. Will its novelty wear off eventually? I'm sure it will, just like the, the fidget spinners do, but this is honestly engineered a lot better than any fidget spinner that I've ever had, and it is a lot more addicting because it it doesn't just spin in one, in one plane in one axis. There's three gimbals involved here and so you can really mess around and see like what it does in different circumstances. And yeah, I really like the knurling that they put on here around the outer ring so that you can grip it easier. And yeah, I just love seeing it flip itself around and, and maneuver itself around as I turn it, as I subject it to different physical angles and physical rotations. I love see I just love seeing how it interacts. I feel like it is kind of in a lot of ways teaching me how a gimbal behaves. I think it's using a system like this only that somebody like me anyways who's not super scientifically literate would be able to get an understanding of how a mechanism like this might work because reading it out of a textbook is it's never going to tell you what how it really works but when you have something like this like you know if a physics teacher had one of these and passed it around I could see the students being like oh wow okay yeah I get it now like it okay it's it's flat now but okay as you turn it it starts to do other maneuvers. Anyways, so that's that. All right, and here is editing me. I realized after I recorded the video, there's something that I did not know about this little thing, and that is that this center gimbal can unscrew. As you can see there, that comes off. 
leaving us with this. And this is what, well, this piece is actually what the uh, special custom tool is made to adjust. It's an extra $15 on the Mech Army website. But then, yeah, you can come in here and I guess you could, I guess you could replace this component with other things. You can see the ball bearings in there as well, so. Yeah, just a cool little extra thing. I didn't realize that you could take that apart. Yeah. So you gotta put it back on, you just... Make sure that's tight. And yeah, in certain parts of the video, it's hard to tell, but this middle or the center gimbal is spinning. So anyways. My apologies, this is a, a different type of video than I'm used to doing. I just kind of wanted to show this off because I think that as my EDC hobby evolves and continues to get into more and more cool things, like I said, Urban EDC and CoolMaterial.com, they're both great sites for stuff like this. Like, you're not going to go on Amazon.com necessarily and find stuff like this. Like, I was able to find, like, some cool EDC brass pens on Amazon.com. In terms of something like this, you might be harder pressed to find something like that. So there are some really cool niche websites out there that offer really neat EDC type gear from really cool makers that you've probably never heard of. Makers like Mech Force and Raylight and Coke Tools and uh, Mech Army and, and things like that. So anyways guys, that's all I had to say for now about this really cool Mech Force EDC Gyroscope Generation 2. Um, I am on Instagram, you can follow me there. I probably won't be posting too many pictures of this, but but who? Uh, pro I probably will eventually. Anyways, <laughs> that's all I had to say for now. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I will see y'all in my next video.